again, Sim here from Sparkly Fairy Face Paintings. So today I was making dragonflies. Now I have made another tutorial about dragonflies. Um, you'll find it if you look through all my YouTube tutorials. But my genius niece, Gloria, who was on a job for me one day, worked out an easier way of doing it. Um, the most stressful part of making a dragonfly is twisting the eyeballs. Anyway, what Gloria discovered is you don't have to twist the eyeballs at all. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, because I love everything to be quick and easy. And then I was also putting my dragonflies onto, I still haven't worked out what to call this, uh, just like a handle thing so that they look like they can fly. All right, so I've blown up this balloon full. It's not super, super tight, but it has nothing at the end. So you can use any color. Uh, dragonflies look great in all colors, but I do especially love them when they're in a combination of like green and purple uh, or anything metallic looks fantastic. Anyway, just using up my balloons. So this is what we've got. So just make a little nobble at the end. I know that's got a proper name. I don't know what it is. That's what I call it, a little nobble. Hold on to your nobble. It's like you're making um, the really easy balloon sword. Fold it over, twist it. You want a gap that you can put the rest of your balloon through, but not too big, otherwise it won't stay together. So now you've got a nobble and this. To make a balloon sword, you just go like this. And there, you've got a balloon sword. Super easy. But we're going to do another novel and another loop and put it through and turn it into a dragonfly. So we've got our novel, our loop. We're going to make one more novel in between. Another loop. Don't make it too tight or it won't go through. You will get used to the right size. So there's two around about the same size. Not exactly, but you know. And actually, what I've done in the past for really easy uh, space guns, I call them because I don't really like you know, firearms, but space guns for shooting space monsters, um, is when that's in chrome, that's a great space gun. Pew, 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 pew. But it is also the start of our dragonfly. So, here we go. Next part is put your eyes on. Now, in the past, what we used to do is blow up a small round. Now, these can even be water balloons. You can also use hearts if you've run out of small hearts, if you've run out of rounds. That's around about the right size. So you can make it a bit smaller. All right, so get some space in here because you want your round to go through this. You want your tie to go in here. You don't want to see your tie. Don't stick it out the end. No one wants a belly button in the eye. So, so you can see that's in there now with the tie in there. And we just pull it tight. Not so tight it pops, but you can pull it fairly tight, and that holds your eye in. In the past, we used to twist the round in half, and you'd be scared, and it would pop, and all this. You just don't have to. That is good enough. So, I'll draw his little eyeballs on so you can see what I'm getting at. Again, I keep it pretty simple. I'm sure a lot of you will make it heaps better. And I put a cute little smile. So there, he's getting some personality. Now remember, this whole white is the eyeball. You don't have to draw around that and put eyelashes or whatever. That's the eyeball. Now, I'm going to put some wings on. Now, I'm just using a 160 cube because I've got heaps of them and I don't have many uh, 260 cubes left. So I want to save them for my job tomorrow. All right, so again, pinch. Now, look, you've got all that. Just make sure you pinch that and then don't let it go now so it all goes floppy and weird. You've got a little bit at the end here. Tie that off. 
tie those together. That'll save your fingers if you do that pinch, let the air out. All right, so you've got your circle. Always hold your fingers where the tie is. Get it in half, push it in, twist it around. You can do one or two twists, whatever. And I always pull it through. Someone told me to do that. I don't know if it really does anything, but that's what I do. Okay, so there's our wings. Your first knobble in this join, that's where we're putting it in. Hopefully I don't pop it. Put it through and then pull your wings through to lock it on. Make sure your knobble goes back. Arrange your wings, and I always give them a bit of a curvy bend up. So here's our really cool dragonfly. Now that was just, you know, any colours look great, I'll tell you. So anyway, today I decided I would put him on the pole so the kids could hold him. Just make it look a little bit extra special, I guess. Now, let me find another balloon. What one am I going to use? I might use another... 160Q and oh, throwing balloons around. I don't know what colour this is. It might be going to be blue, I think. Oh, yeah, here we go. So, just leave a heap at the end there. That's your handle. That's enough to tie around his neck. Some people don't really, well, not his neck actually, around that knobble, I reckon. So, I haven't done much experimenting whether it's better to have more or less of this part and this part, but this is what I'm doing at the moment. So, Hmm, maybe he's a bit weird. Maybe he needs to be tied up there. I'll have to experiment with that. Anyway, you get the idea. That's your flying dragonfly. Okay, 